I'm right here in the um, storage area of the hurricane shelter, and I'm learning a lot of stuff. Here. This place is bigger than I expected to be. Um, I asked what's the stairway here for the stairway for those people that's coming to the hurricane to store their stuff, the valuable above ground. Um, I also learned that uh, this area right here, this is a huge area. This is bigger than any church in Abaco, except for the Church of God. But um, I hope that we have some good bishops to come and open this in prayer. But this place, this place is what I learned is it's uh, six to seven feet from the road off the ground. That's something that you didn't see um, from driving by. So I'm grateful that I have an opportunity to, to look in here. Uh, this place is. It's great. I know the contractor. I know he gonna. He did his good job. Um, his name is on there. Um, but I just want to uh, hope that we don't have a chance to to use this hurricane shelter anytime soon. But it's, we're grateful that something is being put in in place. Uh, when when are we expecting this to be open? End of the year. End of the year. Uh, hurricane. Well, we won't see that no more this year. Next year. Next year, hopefully. We don't use it, but if it's needed, it's a good look to get a walk through. And this is what all Abaconians want to to hear, the good news of what's going on, what, when, why, and how. Because it's for Abaconians, so Abaconians should have a bird's eye view on what to expect before the emergency. So I just want to say thank you guys for allowing Kai Mills to do a personal in-depth investigation so I could tell the good news. Uh, leave the bad news for the next video, but this is a, this is a good news video uh, that I was able to come in here and do a walkthrough. Thank you guys. Thank you.